pretty much like the third day. <laughs> but I ended up getting the truck tires as lined, aligned as much as I could, as much as I possibly could. So me and my girl finna <laughs> we finna go dog on get the uh truck and get her car washed because you know she got a nice new little car that she ended up getting. So me and her, we gonna go together and get our vehicles washed up and whatnot. Um, I tried to align this tire as much as I could. I think this one keeps activating my stable track. And um, you can kind of tell that this tire here is a little, uh, you know, kind of like a little leaning. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to figure that out again i'm not gonna give up on it that's the one thing i don't want to do is give up on it you know and the paint is something that i i've been trying my best to to look over you know just overlook but this paint job is is bothering me a little bit so um you know when next weekend comes i'll be shooting a video on the wheel lights because i'm not gonna mess with the rings on it Oh, look at her nice car and Maybach. It's, it's a Genesis. Yeah, she feel all fancy and whatnot. <laughs> Go ahead and send me the uh, the address to it to the uh, car wash. All right. I got. Huh? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, we finna go to the car wash or whatever. So, we gonna go ahead and scoot down the road or whatever. I'll meet y'all in the next clip because I cannot hold this while I drive.
Look up, Mason. Ended up going ahead and getting that pressure washed up real quick. Now what happened with this one here, and also what happened with the fog lamp, and also this, it got fogged up because when I went at it, whenever I did spray under here, whatever water got in here is now probably in those headlights and probably in those fog in that fog now so that's a problem of course and now the truck is clean but this is why i need the wheel lights because you see this one on the left hand side it is uh <laughs> no longer working This one on this side is good. At least it looks like it's good if you look at from the back of, you know, the back of it. But it's actually not good. So now we have to figure that out. I ended up hitting the pole earlier. So I'll probably figure that shit out. it out and hit the dough but it's clean man it's clean i ain't got no drying towel to dry the uh dry the truck off unfortunately so i may end up rinsing it off when i get back to the house who knows my girl she ended up getting her car clean or whatever so her car looking good now I gotta figure mine out. But I gotta figure it out. That means tire shine. It's the last thing. So, yup.
dog on chat, y'all. And I finally got a jacket on. It was so cold earlier. And then my hands was freezing. I was trying to get up out of there, but I can see how my alignment is a little bit off. A little bit. This tire is off. Like, it's like it's, it's, it's almost, I can't even, my mind just can't, can't deal with it no more. I can't deal with it, but the truck is clean though. The alignment ain't that bad, but it's, <laughs> I don't like it. And I'm not gonna keep stressing myself on it. This is what the cleanness look like. This is what the cleanness look like after you get done doing a self-care car wash. Not when you go take it to like a car wash, they have the spin, the spin brushes and stuff like that. You know, you gotta own a vehicle. I wouldn't recommend using the automatic car washes like that. You know, do it yourself, of course, because these are these are older parts of the vehicle. So, once again, old trim, old bolts, old nuts, old push clips, clamps, all that. And yes, I did use tire shine on her. So, little monster got some tire shine, and it looks pretty dang good. Looking pretty dang good. Day I am a black person, right? But uh, I stay out of the way as long as nobody don't fucking with me. I'm gonna work on my truck, go to work, go to work what I need to do. Just don't come bothering me. Don't bother me, nah. They ain't on that. Don't bother me. Had to climb to the top by myself because the minute that I end up getting this windshield repair, which is going to be next week, Friday, I want to say next week, Friday or Saturday, get a brand new windshield put on. What we're going to do from there is make make preparations to get tint on the windshield. So we may not be able to go get rims and tires soon as we get. Um, situated it's probably going to be i'm gonna say in the next couple months i'm going to prepare myself for a big big change all right because right now this is just the slower season of building right because we made a we made such a big investment which is the lift kit and also the upgraded parts on the suspension that's a big investment. So we're gonna do a, we're, we're gonna do a video on uh, we we gonna do a video, not me, but we, all of us. Because Lord knows I love to hear some feedback and I love to hear what others got to say. And I do respond and I do listen and I read the comments. But we're gonna do a discussion on what you can do in your situation currently how to be able to afford a truck a lift kit modifications and certain things that you would like to do with your vehicle what is it that you can do at the job you're working at to better your situation so that you can afford to do things like this simple things like this right well, for one, you got to understand. One, you have to understand something. 
there's so many different factors into into knowing this type of stuff and understanding and learning it so if you have a garage if you have could uh someone in the family that knows a little mechanic work you got your foot in the door right there now you just need to find out how you can afford to get a truck what truck do you like what year make and model do you have the most understanding of if it's ford maybe you should look into the different models of ford that are reliable maybe you should look into the body styles that may look the best with the rims that you want maybe you want an eight inch lift maybe you don't think the square body obs ford would look good with the rims that you want or the eight inch lift kit that you want you know or the nine inch lift maybe you want to go with just a six inch or a five inch or a four inch or a three inch maybe you want a four-wheel drive with an off-road build there's so many different factors you can go with you know me i have a two-wheel drive i didn't know about the four-wheel drive so now that i know about the four-wheel drive i'm going to keep my two-wheel drive and end up getting another vehicle that is a four-wheel drive because now i know four-wheel drive is very important especially if you live in snowy areas or whatever or it's better for just even the horsepower the four-wheel drive is even better for horsepower believe it or not i don't know if most people know that but four-wheel drive does come in handy for horsepower and i would even say if you're hauling and towing things four-wheel drive does make a difference you know so you got to keep that in mind it's not always about um the engine and it's not always about uh there's something else it's, a, it's the engine and it's not always about uh yeah the engine it's not always about the engine sometimes four-wheel drive does help out a lot you know and then um you just gotta figure out what, what the dealio is because some people get trucks handed to them by parents grandparents things like that or they might come across a friend that wants to get rid of a truck from a family member a neighbor they get stuff some people get things gifted to them not handed to them but gifted to them and it may run and drive it may need a little bit of cosmetic work but it run and drive so the first thing you do is obviously you would go with a lift kit rims tires exhaust and then go with paint job next you know or if somebody wants to get a paint job put a flip kit on it go that route but it's just a bit, you know it's a bunch of different factors that's why i do want you guys to realize that podcasts and discussions are very important because if i don't get the proper feedback and if nobody asks questions i don't know i don't know i can't just you know always talk to myself and things like that man you know you guys the more you engage with the content um the more i can go out and experiment for y'all you know what i mean i can go and experiment certain things for you because i don't mind that this is this is my niche this is what i do as a hobby you know what i'm saying there's other things that comes with this sort of thing you know because if you also do labor work and you have haul a trailer you can also understand that a lift kit and changing the factor of how your truck looks from factory to mod or modded that does make a difference in hauling and towing you know so you may lose towing power because you put a lift kit with rims and tires on there more weight more wear on your transmission that plays a factor you know more wear on the engine as well But in my situation, I just have a lift kit on there. 32s, 32.5 inch tires, I wanna say. Uh, that does, that's not gonna really wear the transmission as much as you think, you know? Now what wears it is if I start trying to take this thing off road with my two wheel drive mudding and trying to hit that throttle, just mashing it, mashing it, mashing it. That could wear on the engine, that could wear on the transmission soon as i put bigger rims and tires on there that can wear on the transmission but you also have to realize if you're gunning it all the time that wears the transmission as well and the engine so if i do go with 37 say if i go with 37 inch tires right 
if I go with 37 inch tires, even if I say 35s, but I end up going with 16 wides, 14 wides, 28 inch rims. Okay, now you're talking about regearing. Now you're talking about regearing your differential and maybe upgrading your transmission to a, probably a diesel. But who would want to go through all of that work just because they're going for a certain aesthetic? You know, right now just having a squatted truck, I feel like it's a it changes it, it changes the whole display of your vehicle you know now my truck with the small tires on it may look a little funny to me because i know about trucks and vehicles now to someone else that don't know and they don't only about cars or suvs they may not look at the vehicle and it might not click in their brain right away this truck something's a little off you know the first thing they're going to look at is probably the lean and they'll think that's off but that's not what's off about the truck it's the small tires that's off about the truck you know but some people some folks don't really um they're not aware of anything um sometimes it takes for someone that's in that realm or in that film in that field to present certain ideas to them for them to understand and grasp a hold of it you know me if someone comes and talks to me about uh finances and things like that it wouldn't click in my mind when they tell it to me or when they present it to me until they start breaking down things you know until they start constantly you know feeding me a little this feeding me a little that Da, 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 da. and then I start doing my own research I start to get more into it that's the same thing with trucks they may folks may see you introduce a new style to them they've never seen it in this town they never seen it in their city it's their first time ever seeing it <clears throat> so they see something like this that's leaning and the first thing they're gonna think is something's wrong with the back he didn't put something back there to make it level with the front and they might not use the word level because they don't know nothing about lift kits. So they might not, they might say, why does it look so high in the front, but low in the back? Or it's just like the back looks broken. You know, they'll, they'll use those terms, but they won't go like, they won't go like, man, he's got a whole lift kit in the front. They don't got no lift kit in the back. They wouldn't think of using the word lift kit. They wouldn't think of the word using lift. They won't think of those words because they don't, they don't understand. And those are the people that are driving the cars, the ones that are driving the high-end SUV, or those are the ones that are driving the uh, the Honda Civics with the loud uh, uh, muffler deleter or something like that, right? Those are the ones that 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 speak in that turn in those those uh, for lack of better words, how do I say? It? They speak in those eighth grade terms in a way. Okay, they don't. They don't. They don't have the the vocabulary, the v, the v, the uh, the the enthusiast, the vehicle enthusiast vocabulary to really point out the different things that they see, you know. But we, as truck enthusiasts, even the guys with level trucks, they can look at something and say, "They don't okay." That especially if they haven't, um, especially if they work on their own vehicle, they'll be able to point out any part and be able to diagnose something so if they see my truck they'll be like oh he's from south carolina off the rip he'll already know oh he's probably from georgia or florida north carolina alabama mississippi maybe even texas maybe uh, louisiana you know they'll think of they'll be able to diagnose that so easily because they work on the, their work they they're they're um they have the understanding you know so they're not oblivious to what's going on so you got to make up in your mind um exactly what it is that you need to do so that you can accomplish things you know and like i always say and i said it in this video earlier i said you know you may not you may not get the experience a hundred percent of what 
you envision, but you experience enough of it to understand that it's or it's, it's real now. It's it's tangible. It's in your hand. It came to pass, you know. And you go from there and make it the best experience from there, you know. So that's you know that's my spill for the day. You know, I want to get a little rollers in, so you guys can see how the tire shine look, how the uh, quality of the wash looks, and then um, you know I'll shoot another video soon. Uh, this weekend, I want to try to keep posting as much as I can because you know I'm envisioning getting a better camera with a with a good lens. But like I said, I'm going for a certain camera. And I'm going for a certain, uh, I'm going for a certain thing, you know. I'm, I, I got a vision, and it may not happen exactly how I envisioned it, but it'll happen. Y'all boys, stay tuned, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video for sure. Good Mason.
what makes 